Hello friends, uh, welcome again. And this is my new project, Secure File Manager. And this is a cloud enabled file manager systems. And for cloud, I am using the AWS Amazon Web Services. And the services I am using the S3 bucket for managing the files, right? And I have developed this project in PHP and MySQL. Some of the MySQL data tables I have used for restoring the local information, but for restoring the information of the file, I'm using the AWS S3 bucket, right? And the communication uh, from this system, from the local system and uh, AWS is uh, going to be on the secure environment, right? So it's a cloud enabled project where you can upload your files, download the files, list the files, create the folders, right? All of the file management you can perform using this application, right? The main objective for developing this project is to upload and download your file on a secure environment right and those files will only and only be accessible to you because you will have the credentials for accessing those files without credentials no one can download those file those files no one can access those files right so this is the main objective for this project and second thing uh, the cloud enabled right so we have used the aws uh, for uh, uploading the files right and the services we are using the s3 bucket right so let me go through uh, that what we have developed inside this project after that you will have the idea that what uh, this project is for forming and where we are storing the files where we are setting the uh, you can say the credentials how this project is communicating with the aws right so these all things i am going to explain in this project right so let me go through this functionality the project functionality first right so this is the home page of the project you can see this is a home page and uh, you and this is a static page there is nothing dynamic on it right and uh, as i told you earlier uh, this is the php based application and all of the plugins we have uh, developed in the php and it's a web based application means uh, the front end design has been developed over the html css javascript also I have used many of the jquery library for giving some good effects and integration of the many plugins for managing the files right for uploading the files for downloading the files i have used the jquery plugins here on this application right so let me go through all of the things that what i have inside this uh, what we have developed inside this project right so this is the home page of the project and this is a totally static page there is nothing dynamic on, dynamic on it this is the about page and it's also a static page right so it's about the project if you want to change the content you can open that file and you can change the content there this is a feature again this is a static page i am not rendering anything from the database here right i have used mysql database for uh, storing the user credentials only right this is a login from where you will be able to log in and you will be able to manage the files this is a contact us this is a static contact us page i am not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database even i am not sending any type of email and sms from this page right so let me log in first so the user id is admin admi and admin and password is test right so once you log in inside the system then this is the control panel what we have developed for managing the file right so you can see the title is secure file manager control panel this is a control panel right and the files which is coming here is directly from the aws right so let me go through all of the operations first that what you have developed inside uh, inside this control panel right so this is the two buttons for back and forward right and this all are the folders what we have created right so let me uh, create the new folder so for creating the new folder uh you need to enter the name new folder or i am entering here folder 2 then once you enter the folder name here then it the this folder will be created on the cloud means aws s3 bucket right so i will show you later let me go through the control panel what we have developed right so once you click on the confirm then you can see the api is working on the back end and this folder has been created now we have two folders folder one and folder two right there is no content available there is no file available inside this uh, folder right but you can see there are two folders we have uploaded now 
i am going to create the, the uh, file here upload the file here right so i am going to upload the file here in the root folder so this is the upload and it's saying that drag or uh, click on the upload so i am clicking on it and i am uh, uploading this one you can see this file has been uploaded and i'm closing it and after that you can see that file is uploaded on the root folder and it will be listed here right so you can see this file has been uploaded on the root folder right if i want to upload the file inside the folder too then just open the folder too and after that you can click on the upload and after that you can uh just uh, i am uploading this file and this has been uploaded right so yeah it's uploaded then you can see i am i have uploaded the file inside the folder too if i click on the back button and uh, sorry it's uh, not folder one folder two you can see there is a file here right so if you want to download the file just click on the file and download it and after that that file will be downloaded on your system right so this is a new folder download and upload and this is the back button this is the folder list right this two for file i can change it right you can see the view uh, of the file will be changed right so i am if i am going on this then you can see the view layouts is getting changed here right so this is the total control panel and the file is we are not uh, storing this file on the local environment we are storing this file real time on the cloud aws cloud and this all files are getting stored on the aws cloud okay so this all things this is the full overview full functionality what we have developed inside this control panel secure file manager control panel and we have used many of the jquery library also for creating and designing this control panel right so uh, this is the logout so if i log out from the system then all of the credentials means you can see the above file manager is not displaying but if i log inside the system then the file manager option is displaying here and after that you will be able to see all of the files what you have uploaded <laughs> right okay so this is the functionality of the web platform now i am going on the aws side so this is the aws right this is the aws control panel and you can see this is uh, once you log in inside the aws and then you will get this aws console right if you don't have the aws credentials then you can uh, create your uh, you can register yourself on the aws platform aws provides uh, 12 month free tier uses for the uh, aws many of the aws services right so here i am using the s3 bucket so just click on the service and go on the s3 once you click on the s3 you can see uh, this is the uh, secure file storage this is the folder what i am using here right so there are you can see there are two folders and one now i am going to create one more folder from here right so uh, new folder and i am going to create folder three and once i click on the confirm let me go through here and just refresh it check it's creating or not you can see that folder has been created now i am going to upload some of the file here inside this aws in this folder right so i am clicking on the folder three and i am going to upload and i am going to drag and drop some of the files here right so uh, where i'm going so downloads and these five files i am going to upload using drag and drop feature right <clears throat> yeah you can see now let me refresh this then let's see those files are coming so it's uploading one file has uploaded three files had uploaded and four files are uploaded right all other files has been uploaded here what how many files we have uploaded here right so there are four five files we have uploaded and all files uh, has been uploaded on the aws s3 bucket right so this way you can see uh, uh, the files are uh, uh, means you are running the application on the local system and those files if you are uploading the file those files are getting uploaded on the aws cloud platform and in a very secure environment right so if you if anyone get the url of this file then no one can download it right so suppose uh, if anyone get this url and if i am uh, opening a new incognito window and downloading the file then and it's saying that access denied right because 
we are storing this file in a very secure manner in encrypted format right and this will not be public either we don't make it we don't make it public right so there is a provision on the aws that if we want to make the things public or not but if we are storing our file in secure environment then we will not make it public right so this <laughs> this is the feature of the system right if i click on the properties then you can see wait permission then you can see uh, uh, i i am not given any type of permission to the file and uh, the object log what i am going to show you the permissions right and uh, the select from okay okay mm, what oh sorry here right if i click on the properties then you can see the object level login then you can perform these of the operations right so because your find file is getting stored on the aws and but you can manage the file from here also the security level the encryption level means it will also be uh, stored in the secured way even the permission you can see the this is the permission bulk all public access right you can see this is on means your file here will not be accessible to anyone without your permission right access control list and each and everything you can manage it from there right management you can see right so access points name there are a lot of things what you can uh, set on your file right so this all uh, things uh, we have developed inside this project the aws uh, cloud based secure file manager right and uh, it's a hundred percent secure right you can learn that how we can man means connect the s3 s aws bucket using using the php how we can use the sdk here right so if you need more functionality in this project or if you want uh, to enhance this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest technologies Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.